Hi everyone. So in this video, we have to talk about belts and pulleys. So let us first define what is belt. So a belt is a loop of flexible material used to link two or more rotating shop mecha mechanically most often parallel belts may be used as a source of motion to transmit power efficiently or to track relative moment so as we observe to this uh, image that this these belts are placing between these two shapes so these belts are are help to reduce a motion or guide the motion of these two shape okay to transmit a power so when so these two shapes are have a rot rotating motion so we can say that uh, these belts are creating uh, creating a friction between this uh, contact of surface surface between this shape and uh, and uh, belts and it will create also a uh, highly tension to the other side of belts so speaking of power so we refer re, refer to this figure so speaking of power when the belt is transmitting power friction causes the belt to grip the driving shape increasing the tension and one side called the tight side so here so we call it a tight side of the drive so the tensile force in the belt exerts a tangential force on the driven shape and thus a torque is applied to the driven shove shaft so the opposite side of the belts is still under tension but at a smaller value so those it is called a slack side so here this is what we called a slack side okay so so for the slip of the belt we know that the motion of belts and pulleys assuming a firm frictional grip between the belts and the pulleys but sometimes some, sometimes the frictional grip becomes insufficient so this may cause some forward motion of the driver driver without carrying the belt with it so this is called a slip of the belt in it and is generally expressed as a percentage okay So, frictional force on flat belts. So, whenever, whenever belt drives or band brakes are designated, it is necessary to determine the frictional force developed between the belt and its contacting surface. So, when the pulley, pulleys or the sheaves are, have a rotating or involving a motion rotational motion so between this uh, these belts will create a tension and a frictional forces so if we will consider this diagram here if we cut here here so it will create a tension in this in here is a tension tension put so when we say uh 
So, the tension 2 here have a greater than force to the other tension. So, the tension 1. Because of this word. So, impending motion to counterclockwise. So, when we when we say impending motion, so, so, kanang ang impending, pasabot, pasabot na ng impending is if you add a small amount or very small amount of force or a differential force, if you will add a differential force, so it will create a motion or which or which involves a a movement of this belt. So consider this free diagram. We have this. So it will create an angle. So if we will cut in here, so it will create a angle, which is this is a beta angle of beta, and this is a angle of theta. So at a very small of area of this pulleys, so we can create a, a very small angle pod. So and we will call it a beta. So considering this figure, we have this. So, as I said earlier that there are uh, if we if we will have a impending motion in terms of counterclockwise, so maka-add ta og differential tension sa kaninga side na forces. So, which is ang ato ang variables dire is T plus DT. So, and then here is a tira dion in here in upward forces we will have uh, we have a differential a uh, differential normal force okay because there are involving motion of this or rotating motion of this pulleys so, nasa tay, differential normal force, and then, there are, uh, na po'y frictional force. So, this tension, the magnitude of this tension, or the position of this tension, will create a, an angle, which is called an alpha. So, if we will determine this angle alpha, so we have this equation. So, let's say that this angle is 180 degrees. Okay? So, kung ato isam up tanang variables nga involved during nga figure, so kani, it kung ato consider this triangle, we have this triangle, so, this is d theta over 2, and this is 90 degrees, so, we can say that this angle is uh, 90 minus d, d theta over 2. Okay? So, if we sum up this angle here, so we can say that your 180 degrees is equals to 90 here, and then here is 90 minus d theta over 2 plus alpha. Okay? So, we know that if we move this kanin value, so, makancel out ang 180 degrees. So, ang mga ibili na lang is ang 0 is equals to negative d theta over 2 plus alpha or equal to, uh, alpha is equals equal to d theta over 2. 
So, from our static, so, as we observe to this uh, forces, so, this is a uh, concurrent forces. So, concurrent, concurrent forces means that uh, tanang forces will passing through one or one common point. So, here. So, so, we can say that the summation of forces x is equals to 0 and sum, summation of forces y is equal to 0. So, let's say that your your forces in terms of uh, right side is equal to the forces in terms of left side. So, we will have a uh, we will have this equation. So from right side na forces, we will have this t cosine. So this refer this triangle. So t cosine d theta over two or t cosine alpha. So where alpha is equals to d theta over two plus your frictional forces, which is the formula of frictional forces is equals to mu times n or in terms of differential frictional forces is mu times dn is equals to uh, for the left side forces we will have a d plus dt so refer to this triangle right triangle so we will uh, we have a t plus dt cosine d theta over Okay. So So this t cosine d theta over 2 and this if we uh, multiply here so ma cancel out ning t cosine d theta over 2 and t cosine d theta over 2. So ang uh, mabilin na lang is mu times dn is equals to uh, dp cosine d theta over 2. So, it cannot. Where, since d theta is uh, r and dt are infinitesimal, so the d theta is have a very small angle. So, cosine d, d theta or approximate to 0 is equal to 1. So, kung yung cosine na value, cosine d theta over 2. So, ang mabilin lang is d, dt. Okay. So, for the summation of fy, it equals to 0 from uh, kaning side, it equals to upper, upper or upward forces so, we will have this equation. So, d plus d sine dt over 2. So, refer to this fig, uh, triangle. So, we will ha we'll have a trigonometric function. No? So, we have t uh, sine dt over 2 and opposite over the hypotenuse. So, so the hypotenuse is t t plus dt. So, your uh, opposite is t plus dt sine d, d theta over 2. And, uh, for your, uh, here, for the other side of tension, we have t. So, t sine dt, uh, d theta over 2. And for the upward forces, so we have a differential normal force. Okay. Since d, d theta and dt are infinitesimal or uh, have a very small angle, the product of d theta or dt and sine d theta over 2 are negligible or equal to 0. 
to this d theta sine d theta over 2 is cancel out. So, may bilhin na lang is t sine d theta over 2 plus t sine d theta over 2 or equal to 2 t sine d, d theta over 2. Uh, so, kanin yung makancel out ni is equals to dn. So, we know that this angle have approximately into 0. So, we know that sine sin 0 or 0 over 2 is equal to 0. So, we can say that sine d theta over 2 is equal to uh, d theta over 2. Okay. And then, your dn is equivalent to uh, so dt is equal to mu times t d theta. So, we can integrate this equation. So, for divide na to ang t sa n mu times d theta. If you integrate this t over dt, so, equivalent na is ln. We have ln, ln t. And for this, d theta, we have theta for integration. So, ln, so, the upper, li upper limit of the ln t is t, t sub 2, and the lower limit is the t sub 1. And for your angle, we have beta. So, ato i-consider ang tibuok na yun nga, nga angle nga atong gi-consider sa figure. So, lower, uh, upper limit minus the lower limit. So, we can have this equation. So, mu times beta minus 0. So, mu times beta na lang may bilin. And lnt2 minus lnt1. Upper limit minus lower limit. So, we know uh, this ln is we can rewrite into form uh, exponential. So, ln t2 over t1, and we can rewrite into this equation. So, t, the final equation is t2 over t1 is equals to exponential mu times beta. So, for the pul pulley, so a pulley is a wheel on an axle or shaft. That is designated to support a movement and change of direction of a taut cable or belt or transfer of power between the shaft and cable or belt. So, flat belt pulleys are usu usually made of cast iron, uh, fabricated steel, paper fiber, or various kinds of woods. So, Pulley face weeds are nominally the same as the weeds of the belts they are to carry. So, so napay daghang kinds of kuano kanang belt. Dili lang ang flat. There are napay lang na flat belt So, we will, uh, we 
Sin alpha is equal to alpha. Alpha. So, makuha na arc dere sa 
FT or arc length sa FT. So for the EF, okay, we have this. Since that this length EF and this uh, length here, the adjacent side of this triangle, so makuha na to ang variables nila in terms of uh, In terms of Pythagorean theory, so we have this uh, equation: EF is equals to square root of x squared minus r1 minus r2 squared. So, kung ato ni factor ang x squared, so niyan yung equation: EF is equals to square root of x squared times 1 minus r1 squared over x squared. So, kung ato ipagawas ang x sa square root, so, the equation becomes x square root of 1 minus r1 minus r2 squared over x squared. So, here, then, ef is equals to, kung ato ni special product, this 1 minus r, 1 minus r2, x squared, raised to 1 half. So, may nga niya. 1 minus 1 half, times r1 minus r2 squared, raised to 1 half, times r1 minus r2 over x squared, raised to 1 half, the equation becomes x minus 1 half r1 minus r2 squared over x. So we know that length is equal to r g plus twice e f plus twice r f t. So atong di, atong di explain na to. So we know that r g e is r1, r1 pi over 2. So at a substitute plus alpha. For the EF, the length of EF is x minus r1 minus r2 squared over 2x. For the uh, r of t, we have this equation r2 times pi over 2 minus alpha. So if we will expand this equation, so may yan yung equation. We have r1 pi over 2 plus r1 alpha plus x minus r1 minus r2 squared over 2x plus r2 pi over 2 minus r2 alpha. So if we will combine this equation in terms of similar uh, variables, we have r1 and we have this r1 is here. So, R1 pi over 2. Say this, R1. So, we have pi over 2, R1 plus R2. Uh, so, today. Plus x minus R1 minus R2 squared over 2x. Plus R1 minus R2 times D alpha. We know that alpha is R1 minus R2 over X. So, at I substitute this in this equation. So, now the length becomes pi R1 plus R2. So, kung ato i times of 2, both side. So, yan yung equation, pi r1 plus r2 plus 2x minus r1 plus r2 squared over x plus 2 times r1 minus r2 squared over x. So, this equation will cancel. So, my value is r1 minus r2 squared over x. So, cancel out. So, pi r1 plus r2 plus 2x plus r1 minus r2 squared over x. 
So, in terms of diameter, we will have this equation, 5d1 plus d2 over 2 plus 2x plus d1 over 2 uh, raised to square over x. So, we know that the 2 squared is 1 to 4. So, the, so the equation becomes 5 over 2 d1 plus d2 plus 2x plus d1 minus d2 squared over 4x. And we know that the x is equivalent to the center distance of the, uh, the two pulleys. So x is equals to c can be determined as a center distance between two pulleys. So for the final equation, we have this length. Length is equals to pi over 2 d1 plus d2 plus twice the center plus d1 minus d2 squared over the 4c. So for the cross belts, we have this. Length is equals to pi times d1 plus d2 plus twice the center plus d1 plus d2 raised to, raised to 2 over 4c. We know that, can we? So for the open belt, uh, nakalayan lang nila isang Kani, for open and cross belt. So, na difference lang nila is kaning sign nila. So, for the open belt is minus siya. For the cross belts is plus na ang iyang sign. So, maray timan anin nyo. So, let us now move to angle of contact or wrap angle. So, Again, let us refer to this figure. We know that this triangle, this triangle, so we can form a trigonometric function in terms of sine. So sine alpha is equals to R1 minus R2. Here, on this side, this is opposite side to this triangle over the hypotenuse, which is the center distance of your or of these two pulleys. So, sin alpha is equal to R1 minus R2 over C or sin alpha is equal to in terms of diameter we have diameter 1 minus diameter 2 over twice the center. So, ang ipangita is the wrap angle. So, this part is Mone nga ito ang wrap angle. So, this larger pulley, opening sa smaller pulley, mone nga wrap angle na yung masay. So, as we observe to this wrap angle, that your, uh, so, this angle is 180. We know that this angle here is alpha and also here is alpha. So we can say that your theta or the wrap angle is equal to 180 degrees plus the twice of your alpha. So 180 plus 2 alpha for the large pulley. So we have this equation. We know that your alpha is equivalent to sine, uh, inverse sine, R1 minus, uh, no, D1 minus D2 over 2C. So for the smaller cone, uh, no, smaller pulley, so we have this angle, theta 2. We have 180 minus uh, minus the twice of your alpha. So 180 minus 2 alpha is your theta 2. Theta 2 nisha. So the theta 2 is equals to 180 minus 2 sine negative 1 times d1 minus d2 over twice the center. Okay. 
So, more ay tiba na ninyo for the small, large pulley and small pulley. So, let us have a sample problem. So, find the belt length at a 72 inches center distance connected in an open belt. The pulley diameters are 6 inches and 12 inches. So, can you refer to this figure? So, 72 inches center distance now. Can you? And then, the diameter, pulley diameters are 6 inches for small pulley. For the large pulley is 12 inches. Okay. So this. So the solution, the solution for this, we have this formula. Length is equals to pi times pi two times d one plus d two plus plus the center plus d one minus d two. So the values of the diameter and the center. So we have. This. Two times seventy two plus twelve minus six squared four times seventy two. So if we calculate this uh, equation, so we can have this value. So one hundred seventy two point thirty nine inches. Sample problem. With a 72 inches center distance, so the pulley diameters are 6 inches and 12 inches. So, from this one, small pulley, so I'm going to make a angle. Or the formula is 180 minus 2 sine uh, inverse sine d1 minus d2 twice the center. So 180 minus 2 sine inverse sine, we have this diameter d1 and d2 is 6 d1 minus d2 minus 6 over d twice the center 2 times 72. One seventy five point twenty two degrees. Okay, so that's all for now. And thank you for listening and have a good day.